Hi, friends. Good morning. I am so happy to be with you today. Can you guess what we're talking about today? We are talking about love, one of my favorite topics and something that we will talk about all the time in church because God is all about love. Today, we're talking about another one of the jobs that God gives us at church and at home and in our community. And that is the job of showing his love to others. But did you know that in order to show and share God's love with others, you have to be filled with God's love yourself? Friends, do you know how you can be filled with God's love? I mean, I know you know that you're loved by God. We talk about that all the time. But how do you be filled with so much love that you have love to give to others? Well, there are lots of ways that we can do that. One of the best ways is coming to church. And when you come here, we can talk about God's love. We can experience his love. We can get so filled up with his love that we have love to give to others. But you know, we can get filled with God's love in other ways too. When we're at home, we can look in our Bibles and we can read all about God's love for us. The Bible tells us God loves us so much that nothing can take it away. We can listen to songs about God's love. There are awesome songs about God's amazing, never-ending love that can fill our minds and our thoughts with how much He loves us. You know, I did something kind of silly this week. I sat next to my bed when I woke up in the morning and I played someone talking on my phone and I sat there and listened. And the woman was saying over and over again, you are loved, you are loved. And I thought, I feel myself getting filled with love. You know, My mom gave me this awesome mug for Christmas. On one side, it says, you are loved. And on the other side, it says, we love because he first loved us. And I was thinking that all those signs of love, all those things we do, like coming to church to get filled with God's love, like listening to music that fills us with God's love, like noticing the beautiful creation that he has made and feeling God's love, Those things, they fill our cup with love. They fill us with his love so that then we can do our job. Then we have love we can share. Love we can give to others because we are so filled with God's love. Oh, friends, that's our job this week is to try and find ways that we can fill ourselves with God's love. Maybe it's a big hug from mom and dad or grandma or grandpa. Maybe it's reading a story in your Bible that reminds you God loves you so much. But whatever it is, let's pray for God's help to be filled with his love so that we can share it with others. Dear God, thank you so much for the love you give us. Please help us look for new ways to be filled with your love. And please help us find the people who need to have it shared with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, friends. Have a great week. And always remember, God made you, God loves you, and God is always with you. See you next week. Bye-bye.